Hi guys, it's Felicia and I'm back to do uh, look number three in my everyday series. So let's go ahead and get started. So uh, what you need to start off with is using some kind of eyeshadow base, um, a creamy one. And typically I use the um, Urban Decay Primer Potion. But I'm going to try something a little bit different today and I'm actually going to use a brush. For this you can use the um, NYX eyeshadow base, you can use a paint pot from MAC, you can use a heavy concealer. I just wanted to try something different today. Um, after that, what we're going to use is, I got a sample of a pigment from MAC. It's called, um, what is it called? I can't remember. Naked. It's called Naked. And it's kind of like a, like kind of off-white, not off-white, like a skin tone color with a little bit of a glitter to it. Not much. So what we're going to do is just place this on the eye and push it in. We're not really going to go in back and forth motions, just kind of pushing it in like so. It's a real pretty color and um, the reason that I decided to use something like a um, creamier eyeshadow base was because this is a loose pigment and I just kind of felt that a creamy eyeshadow base like a paint pot or even the one from um, NYX would give the loose pigment of something a little more to adhere to. So next what we're going to use is you're going to need a brown type color, any color that you like. I'm going to use um, a color called Satin Taupe and that's a MAC color. You can also use if you have the colors from Ulta, this one's really nice, the um, Twilight from Ulta, and that would work out just fine too. And what we're going to do is just put it on the lower lid here and blend over. I'm not really using the right brush for this. Um, let's see. I'm going to use my big wide brush here for just to place the shadow on. And then. Mom, can I come in? Nope! It's my son. And we're going to use a big, bigger brush to just kind of blend. put some on this brush here and just work it into this outer corner and just keep blending and you want to use a bigger blending brush to kind of like blend away any lines or like sometimes you end up with a line right in here when you place your eyeshadow so a bigger brush helps with that I really like this color and the pigments, the loose pigments, they can be um, a little difficult to work with. It just takes some practice using them. So I'm just going to keep blending that in. And I think that is almost even. You know, one thing I've found with making these videos is that as I'm sitting here looking at what I'm doing, it looks... It looks perfect to me. It's the right amount of um, dark compared to the light. But then when I look at it after I'm done filming, it doesn't quite look the same. So we're just going to use a pencil brush here and take some of that satin taupe or whatever brown color you chose. It's going to run that along the lash line here just a little bit thicker 
And in case anybody's wondering, on my lips I have a Sonia Kashuk nude lip liner. And I just used one of my lip glosses, nude lip glosses, to fill it in. And then we're going to run some of this down here on the low, lower lash line. Now you can either decide to uh, line your lower water line. It's up to you, really, whatever you want to do for the day. I've just gotten into the habit of um, lining the lower water line here. So um, now we're going to, if I can find it, curl the lashes. I got this HD camera because, you know, you think HD and, you know, you think everything's going to show up so much nicer and clearer, and yeah, it is, but the problem is, I, I don't know, like, if I'm not putting the eyeshadow on dark enough, I don't know, I'm going to use, I got this voluminous uh, mascara, I'm just going to use that, it's from L'Oreal. And I really don't like the smell of this at all. I like the brush, but I am not digging the smell whatsoever. But I do like the brush. It separates pretty nice. But it smells like old beer or something. It's not a very pleasant smell. Go ahead and do the um, lower lashes too. And you could leave it like that if you want to, you know, or if you want to line the um, lower lash line, you can go ahead and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and do that because, I don't know, like I said, I'm really kind of like into um, lining this area. Alright, and there we go. Got a little bit of a mess under my eye here, which... I'm just going to use this eyeshadow brush that, or not eyeshadow, it's a concealer brush. And I use that to put some of the um, creamy eye base on with. So basically that's it. It's really easy. There's not much to this. It's kind of, you know, um, out the door quick look. Not much to it. Um, and I already did my, like, bronzer, and I put some powder on, not a whole lot, um, but I think this is real easy, and honestly, I really like this pigment, it's called Naked again, it's from MAC, it's really pretty, and you guys can, you know, if there's something that you really want to try out, you're not sure if you want to buy it, they'll give you samples, you know, like you can even get samples of the paint pots and the loose pigments and things like that. And then also when you go, you can try out um, the eyeshadows, you know, whatever eyeshadow you want to try out, they have no problem letting you do that. So, um, I'm just going to actually put on... Nah. I don't think I will. I was going to put on some of that secret brightening powder, but I don't think I really need to. So there is everyday look number three. And I think it's really pretty. I like it a lot. And I think that the paint pots, or not the paint pots, but the creamy eyeshadow base really works out nicely. It kind of makes the colors pop a little bit more. And like I said, it gives something for the loose pigments to stick to. So you might want to look into that. So, okay. Well, I hope you guys like this look. I think it's really pretty. It's fast and it's easy. There's not much to it. And um, it's a good look for every day. So, all right, you guys take care and I hope you enjoyed that. Bye.